yeah, it's kind of a, I was just enjoying a little siesta here in my gear room, my man cave. Um, my wife says it's going to be a guest room, but uh, still a gear room, right? Got the hammock in here. What more do we need to say? Anyway, it's one of those days that's a little rainy again, a little cloudy outside, it's supposed to be icy a little bit, so I would like to spend the day indoors. But then I was thinking, if I'm going to talk about getting outdoors, looking around, having fun, exploring, well then, I might actually want to get outdoors at least once in a while. So today's one of those days. So I'm going to dress up in my ultra running costume, oh, excuse me, I mean my, my manly outside outdoor gear, and I'm going to go brave the elements Why I stupidly, I mean bravely, pretend that I am somebody 25 years younger. Um, I mean while I try to show that age is not a factor, and that no matter how old you are, you can still go outside and have fun. So let's get going. Alright, so I've come out to Edgar Evans State Park and time to hit the trails out here. But first, I need to decide exactly which hat, piece of headwear I'm going to wear because that is a very, very important decision. So right now I've got on my uh, trucker hat, nice bill there. Or the question is, do I need to wear it backward? Because I know when I'm ultra running, I have to fit the profile, wear the hat backwards. But another option is, well, another option is to get my headband on here. Sometimes I like to run in my headband. Now it is 30 degrees outside, so maybe I need a little head covering here a little more uh, outdoorsy so then I've got my my headband which also might have a dual purpose if I um, sprain an ankle break an arm snake bite uh, have to rescue you know a child in distress or something that I've got my handy bandana there with me so hat can't uh, be used as an arm sling but it is 31 degrees so I may need to use my toboggan here now Got my toboggan in. Go heels! Okay. It keeps my ears nice and warm. But also around my neck, I've got my neck gaiter buff. So, whoops. I can wear it. Might make me look the, the goofiest. Not that I need any assistance looking goofy, but comes down nice, keeps the uh, the ice off the back of my neck. If it was sunny, would keep the sun off the back of my neck. So I've got decisions to make. Or if I get really cold, could run like this, but I couldn't see. Let's see. I could wear it like this. Oops. I could wear it like this. Okay. Or. Or. Or, there we go. Oh, there we go. Now there's a running style right there. Or, let's see, headband mode. So I really don't know which mode I need to go with. If my that might fall down, and my eyes would get stuck. Marco, follow. Marco, follow. So I'll have to sit here for a few more minutes. You may think I'm wasting valuable running time, but these are important decisions. All right, so I'm ready to go now. I've decided on my headwear choice and I'm ready to hit the trail. Time for a gear review. These are my Black Diamond Aluminum 
Distance Z tracking poles. Now, I've got three pieces. Assemble very quickly. Assemble very quickly. Assemble very quickly. There we go. Ready to go. I have used them on uh, many runs, used them on many hikes. So when I have them both together, as they assemble very quickly, I've got a pair of aluminum sticks. So we're here at the trailhead, Edgar Evans State Park. There's a map. And let's see, and typically run the Millennial Loop and then the Marriage Rid Loop. That totals about seven and a half miles. So we are right here. And it looks like it's been drawn in with a nice Sharpie and faded over time. So we'll come in here. I usually go up here, circle around, hit the trail, climb up a hill, go around back down the hill and back home. And just in case you want to come out here, do not block the gate. This really is a nice place to run. It gets kind of rocky at the beginning, a little bit of a downhill, and then you just have some steady ups and downs. But for the most part, you're climbing on the first half, then on the last half you're going to be downhill so it's uh, you can really pick up some speed and off we go and you can see that it wraps around and eventually we're going to climb up there to the top of the ridge and that's just a beautiful run now one of the things that i like about trail running is that you get to walk and see even expected yes so I'll take this brief moment to uh, do the rest of my gear load out. So while I'm getting the obligatory foot walking shot, you can see I'm wearing Ultramoon Peaks and Gators. If you can read upside down, Moxie Gators. Pick those up at REI. Coming up from the feet, Running tights, I think these are actually champion. Got them at Target, something like that. Coming up the rest. Got my rock and roll marathon jacket, which actually works quite well. And of course, I've got Brooks running gloves. And these have a really neat feature. And there you go. Got a nice mitten cover for the gloves. The gloves are, uh, touch screen sensitive there's a hole that I got from falling when I wasn't using my trekking poles one of the reasons I wear them Okay, that was the obligatory foot passing by shot, sliding across icy bridge shot. You got it? And we come to a junction in the trail. So if I go straight, I end up with about a two mile loop. That's the Millennial Trail. So we're about halfway around this loop or connector trail 1.5 miles. Now, that's only 1.5 to the Merritt Ridge Loop Trail. Once you get there, then a couple miles around. So I don't know if we're gonna have time to go the whole way today since I am pausing to take obligatory foot shots, but let's see. So up here, the trail divides. The stairs go this way, or I can go right. Decisions, decisions, decisions. It's one of my favorite climbs right here. Came down, so we're still on the connector trail. 
and then this will take us up to there. It's just a beautiful area here, kind of in the skull. So let's go to the top. So here we are again at the top of the ridge. One of my favorite views just drops off on either side. The trail goes that way. So now we're coming to the part of the connector trail where we're at the end of the top of the ridge. Let's show you. Nice view here. Of the lake out there. So the trail comes over here. These rocks are a bit slippery. You can see there's so some ice or frost on the ground. Not going anywhere anytime soon. And the trail goes down. Okay, so now I think that this is actually the highest point on the trail. The uh, game loss differential has increased by another uh, 100 or so, or 230 feet more gain than loss at this point. I'm about three, excuse me, about four and three quarter miles on the loop, uh, heading clockwise in the whole direction. So for the most part, I think it's downhill from here. All right, so we're about done coming back on the connector trail. So you can see behind me the trail there where we come from. And up here, up here we're going to start climbing back up to the that ridge that we ran along. So a little bit of a steep climb, but it's short. A little bit better view of it as the trail winds around right up there. Circles around here. Goes up, over, and then back up. All right, so I'm back where I've been running the top of the ridge, heading my way back. And uh, this, if you happen to be running the trail, is where it really gets fun. All right, so we're back at the trailhead. Good run. All right, guys, so that's a wrap. I had a lot of fun out there. It was a little icy in a few spots, a um, little frozen ground, more mud than anything, especially on the lower loop, but I guess that's to be expected this time of year. Good thing I had the trekking pole. It did save me from falling a few times, and uh, overall, it was a good run. Um, you know, it was interesting, uh, part of making this video, and was poking fun at myself. So, just something to keep in mind, don't take yourself too seriously. I mean, after all, I'm a 51-year-old guy wearing spandex out there, so uh, there's something to be said for that. Anyway, hope you guys are able to get out and hit the roads, hit the trails, backpacking, uh, camping, trail running, whatever it is you're doing. Get outdoors, explore, and be revived.